Good morning, Red Lion Area Senior High. I'm Ethan. Today is Wednesday, April 21st, Day 6. Welcome to Arley TV. In other news, it's time to think about next year's activities. Here are a few opportunities that you should consider now so you can set yourself up for success next year. The Lion Yearbook is seeking responsible, dedicated, enthusiastic students to join the 2021-2022 yearbook staff. Apply via the link below by April 26th. The Leonid School newspaper is also seeking students who are interested in producing media in the writing, web design, photography, and video production, and even podcasting platform. Check out thelena.com to see the latest news and find out how you can be involved next year. The Color Guard wants you to audition for the 2021 Color Guard. Auditions will be held on April 20th, 21st, 27th, and 28th from 6 to 8 p.m. Join us in the music hallway. No experience is required. We will teach you everything you need to know. Auditions are open to all students in grades 8 to 11. Please see Mr. Kern in the band room with any questions. Now to Mrs. Morris with a Career Center update. Hi everyone, welcome to the Career Center. As you can see, there is a huge plethora of opportunities right now in the Career Center. If you are looking for a part-time job, Please take note, there are several, especially in the food industry. For example, Winridge Farms is hiring. Um, the Festive Board Deli and Cheese Shop is hiring. Downtown, Fig and Barrel. Those would be great opportunities if you're just interested in getting started. If you want simply a part-time job, why not check out the shoe department? That's located in Shrewsbury by the Walmart Shopping Center. Um, I missed one, Isaacs. All of these are hiring for all positions. If you are a senior and you're looking for maybe summer employment that would take you through, um, like college, maybe your breaks, the next summer, things like that, or if you're looking to enter the job force right upon graduation, I would check out um, the Grand Rental Station in Spry. I would check out Garrity Glass. Both of those are looking to hire for full-time employees. Rand Whitney is in our backyard. It used to be known as Specialty Industries. They are hiring for a multitude of opportunities. And in fact, they just posted over the weekend, they're having a career fair today from 2 to 7 and tomorrow from 8 a.m. until 12 noon. So please stop down. And those of you, whether you're junior or senior, that are looking to further your education, but perhaps um, learning a trade. You know, I think I'm more of a hands-on type person. So why not consider a pre-apprenticeship in either construction, electrical, or manufacturing, or if you are that senior, look at an actual apprenticeship. James Craft & Son is hiring for plumbers and pipe fitters. Frost Insulators is hiring. Um, here are plumbers and pipe fitters out of Harrisburg that are looking for next year. So if you've not made use of the Career Center and you're looking for opportunities, anything that is on this board is also listed on the table. It's kind of a grab and go. And I guess if I can do one more plug, please remember your graduation project requirements, your elective activities. By the time the end of your junior year rolls around, you should have five elective activities. This must be perfect timing because I just counted this morning. You have 28 on the list. Each can be broken down. One of them has an additional 50 opportunities. So please don't tell me, I don't know what to do, because certainly there are many, many opportunities. Please come down, stop in. 
We're located right beside the office. Say hello to Mrs. Wise, my trustworthy assistant. Come and talk to me and help us find out where your niche is so that you can be successful in life. Real learning for real life. Thanks everyone. Have an awesome day. Thank you, Mrs. Morris. Just a reminder for graduating seniors, apprenticeship applications are being accepted only May 3rd and May 14th for plumbers, pipe fitters, sheet metal workers, and electricians at James Craft & Son. Ms. Morris in the Career Center is looking forward to seeing all of you. Hey seniors, make your voice heard this year by registering to vote in the local elections. Every year there are elections, whether it's presidential, senate, or whatever. Just make sure that you're registered by May so that you can make your voice heard. Now let's go to the Red Line Sports Center update for today's sports update. Thanks, Ethan. Today's sports update will include highlights from yesterday's girls softball game and the boys and girls track meet against Southwestern. Stay tuned to hear the latest results. First off, Redline's unified track team is a team where regular students and special education students work and compete together. Your Lions unified track team will be traveling to Central York for the first meet of their season this Friday. If you see team members in the hall or around campus, wish your team luck. Before we go to track and softball results, let's find out information about cheer. The Lady Lions softball team made in a two in a row by beating Susquehannock by a score of nine to two. Mechanically sound defense was a showstopper by the Lady Lions. On a bunt attempt by Susquehannock, Red Lion turned a double play started by a first baseman, Star Sand, who threw to Maddie Collins, second baseman, who covered for an out. Then she threw a seed to third base where shortstop Emma Waldemeyer was covering and applied a tag team to complete a double play. To follow that glamorous play, Within the same inning, there was a base hit by Susquehannock to the center field. Jody Grove, who hit the cutoff, Emma Waldemeyer, and then she threw a strike to catcher Morgan Fultz as she applied the tag team at home plate on a runner trying to score from second base. Ava Norris, pitcher, completed a game that led the hit attack along with Maddie Collins, who each had two hits. Next up for the two in a row Lady Lions is York Suburban today. Yesterday, the boys and girls track team took on Permeal Powerhouse Southwestern in a battle of unbeaten teams. The boys were led by A.J. Verrata, who won the 200 and 400 dashes and also high jump. River Van Wicklin, who also contributed wins in both the 800 and 1600 meter hurdles. Other winners included Dan Stroudsburg in the 100 meter dash and James McBride in the long jump. The boys battled hard with many personal best performances However, it was not enough to overcome a deep Southwestern team who came out with a 102-48 victory. The Lady Lions controlled the track as Sophia Bercha led the distance squad with wins in the 1600 and 3200 meter hurdles. Cammy Patterson, who won both the 100 and 200 meter dashes, and then teamed up with Jayla Godfrey, Bella Vanover, and Peyton Wolf to win the 4x100 relay. She was also teamed up with Grace Kaufman, Rachel Reba, and Vanover to win the 4x400 relay. Other winners on the track team were Grace Kaufman in the 800 meter run and 4x800 meter team of Aubrey Verte, Victoria Mattioli, Lily. <laughs> 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 Shot put in discus. The solid all-around team performance willed the girls to convincing 90 to 60 victory over the Mustangs as the girls look to fill the country champions banner. Way to go, Lady Lions. 
The track team will travel to Cedar Cliff Relays this weekend before returning home for the last home meet of the season in senior night next Tuesday at 5 p.m. versus crosstown rival Dallas Town. For the RLF TV Sports Department, I'm Ben. Now let's take it back to Ethan for the main announcements. Thanks, Ben. Now let us say happy birthday to Margot Rensel, Jeremiah Bowser, Hunter Wirt, Hannah Kaiser, James McLearon, and Richard Webster III. Happy birthday tomorrow to Ethan Ankers, Bailey Flinchball, Cameron Corr, Jasmine Lackintosh, Maya Brown, Austin Long, Emma Trone, Parker Bowles, and Nadia McGuire. Thanks for stopping by for these announcements. I'm Ethan. Have a wonderful Wednesday, everyone, and stay safe, Red Lions.